Hello and welcome to another critical tutorial. In this tutorial we're gonna recreate the animation you just saw and before we start I would like to thank all of the patrons for their support. It really helps us out and if you want to get access to touch designer files and support the channel consider subscribing. So without further ado let's start with the tutorial. So we're gonna first create a grid we're gonna make it from the size uh, 3.5 and 3.5 and we're gonna go with rows 10 and 10 and we're gonna convert this to, to tops so we're gonna first convert them to chops so we're gonna here sub 2 then we're gonna create here a null and then we're gonna create here a chat. All right, this needs to be RGB and fit to square. All right, so we have our grid. I'm also gonna create here another node. I'm gonna call this pause for position and we're gonna create some circle with instancing, okay? So we're gonna make this radius smaller, V0.2. And then we're gonna create here a geometry. We're gonna split the screen. And first, we're gonna make this to the geometry viewer. So we're gonna now instance this with the data of the position. So right now we're gonna go in the instance tab, activate instancing, and go to the translate OP, trans air, G, and B, we don't need it, so we see a grid like this. Okay, so now let's proceed to the render part. We're gonna create a camera and a render. And let's change this to the top viewer. And let's create here a null after the end and put this viewer active. Okay, I'm gonna also right click, display background tops okay so right now we see black circles and the reason is because it doesn't have any light or material so we're gonna create a constant material and we're gonna give this to the circle okay so now the next part is we're gonna create a texture that we're gonna use as a constant so for this I'm going to create here a ramp and this is going to be the resolution 1280 by 1280. And then I'm gonna attach a circle top and we're gonna multiply the circle with the ramp. So in the output tab, there is here composite and set resolution and the operation, we're gonna go to multiply. All right, then we're gonna create here an all and then we're gonna drag and drop the node to the constant and now we have a bunch of circle with the texture i want to go into the ramp and go type radial and now we're getting there so now the next step is before the node out i'm gonna create here a ramp because i want to have like a gradient on the background and the output is set to multiply it I'm gonna put this here on the under and I want the ramp to be uh, vertical and in, instead of white I'm going to go to a very very dark blue so maybe something like this so it's, uh, it's very subtle but it gives a nice background I'm also gonna change the color of the ramp a little bit also, I'm gonna make it a little bluish and maybe a little darker, something like this. All right, so, and now we're going to um, make the animation or the movement of the circles based on some audio. For this, we're gonna first create a noise, a noise stop. Then we're gonna attach a null at the end. 
and then we're gonna first set the resolution the same as this pose so right now we can just type the following expression which is op pose dot width we're gonna copy this then op dot post dot height this is only if you want to later make another grid size stuff but you could also just type 10 and 10 all right so i'm gonna move this here and now we're gonna use the noise to drive the rotation so if we go here i'm gonna call this here rot for rotation and then i'm going to put this into the rotate op and then i'm gonna rotate set with whatever so we see that it doesn't happen nothing happens and the reason is because this noise is going values from zero to one so right now this the, the rotation is very 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 little so we want to make it from 0 to 360 but for this we need the pixel format of 32 bit float so we can store bigger values okay so in order to amplify this we need a math and then we can use the uh, multiply by 360 so right now we see already the movement going if we also transform this, I mean, we can put the the time dot seconds. Maybe before we, until we do it, we can type apps time seconds times zero point one, and we have already the circles moving. But we want this to be audio reactive. So in order to do this, we're going to drag a audio file in. And we're going to use the custom component, which is audio reactive rotation. I'm going to say OK. And this component you can find on Comroad, it's for free. I'm going to link, leave a link in the description below. And we're going to play around with this value. So I'm going to put this viewer active and I'm going to drag it here. So right now at the beginning it's madness. The reason is because the base the base speed running is too high. So let's say if we put 25 and we lower the gain, we start to see that it changes. So I'm gonna put here an audio device out. I'm gonna first put it like this. Audio device out, and I'm gonna put the volume to very low. And now we can see that the circles are moving with the audio. If we go here in the audio file in and we increase the volume, we see they start static. So this audio is driving the movement of the circles. And now you can just play around with the, with the period. You can make it higher and decrease the harmonics to get more like a feeling and you can play again with this nose noise in general so you can get yes push it's like this like I said, feel free to, to experiment with this uh, it's very fun okay i'm gonna bypass this okay and if you're still watching thank you so much for watching until here i'm gonna leave here with a few bonus so the first one is I'm gonna make actually a little bit of grainy on the output. So in this, I can just put a noise before the output and I'm gonna go the period to zero. And in the output tab, I'm gonna decrease the noise scales very, very low, something like this. You may be able not to see it on the video, but if you turn your computer, you can see that it has like some grainy effect. And also I wanted to leave you with the trick if you want to not make this audio reactive but to actually make it loop what you could do is first get a constant chop uh, i'm gonna put here time frac for time fraction and i'm gonna type the following expression me dot time dot frame divided by me dot time dot end and this gives me the 
time fraction of the timeline. And now what I can do is use a pattern. One is going to be the T set. I'm gonna copy this and the other one is gonna be T W for the for dimension. And one is gonna be sine and the other one is gonna be cosine. And now what I can do is merge these two. Then use a lookup. Ah, I'm sorry, the other way around. Okay, and now I'm gonna touch here a null. And now in the noise, instead of uh, simplex 3D, we're gonna go with simplex 4D. And in the transfer tab, instead of T set, right now it's, this is the, well, it's the audio reactive part, but if we want to make it a loop, we can use the T set on the T set and the TW on the translate 4D. So right now, this will loop. So if we see here on the first frame, this frame has to be equal to this frame, which is the last one. The 600 and the one are the same. So when you render it out, it could be, it will be a loop. So you can now play with other noise parameters and stuff. And if you're still watching, <laughs> thank you so much. And I'm gonna leave you with another bonus, which is that you can use instead of a circle, you can use also 3D geometry, like a sphere. And in the sphere, again, we're gonna go with radius very low. I'm gonna put this here. And right now it doesn't look so good, but what you could do is also here, attach a texture, sub, and also, for example, here the rotation, you can also get some, some trippy effects. So for example, you can also use one of these channels here and set the rotation and maybe multiply these times 360. And you could also get, or 180, whatever. And you can also get all the result. Okay, that was another trick. And the last trick I'm gonna leave you with is that you can actually use the, um, instead of the ramp, you can, or instead of the period one of the ramp, you can also go lower. You can also get this kind of effect, or you can, for instance, use also other textures. Instead of a ramp, you can use also uh, a noise or any other file in or whatever you would like. So here I'm going to go into the output uh, 1280, 1280. And right now, of course, this noise is not very pretty, but you can make it pretty, you can decrease this, you know, play around with the, the settings of the noise. Maybe you don't use monochrome and decrease the scale. And you can get experiment with different results, but I just wanted to leave you with this so you can play around. And if you want to get access to this file, please consider supporting us on Patreon. And thank you so much for watching.